Good morning boys and girls, hope you are all okay, hope you had a lovely weekend and you are ready for your second week of distance learning. Today we are going to be doing some guided reading and we're going to do it just like we do in class when we look at a book. We will then remind ourselves of our reading strategies. I will then read the book, you will read the book two times after I have and then we're going to make it really really fun by playing a Kahoot quiz. So first let's remind ourselves of some reading strategies. So our first reading strategy that we like to use a lot is our eagle eye. That is when we look at a word we take the first letter of that word and we look at pictures in the book to help find clues for the word. Our second reading strategy that we like to use is our stretchy snake. This is when we look at letters in the word, we stretch the sounds out nice and slowly and we put them back together. So for example, if I want to say ship, I would stretch it out like this. Sh, I, ha, ship. So let's have a go at some stretchy snakes. So first of all, I'll say the word and then you'll have a go and we'll say it all together. Plane. P U A N. You have a go? Good job. Fantastic. Let's say it once more all together. Plane. P U A N. Fantastic job. Let's have a go at one more. Passenger. P A -S N J passenger. You have a go for me. Lovely job. Well done. Let's try it all together now. Passenger. P A S N J. Good job. So today, boys and girls, the book that we are going to be looking at is The Flying Machine. Let's have a read. And girls, this is our book, The Flying Machine. It is accessible to you on Oxford Owl. I put up a video explaining how your parents can access Oxford Owl. So they should be able to access this for you and it was put on Class Dojo on Thursday the 26th of March. Let's have a read. So The Flying Machine. Nadim was at the airport with his mum and dad. They had been to America for a holiday. Now it was time to fly home. Nad Nadim's dad was nervous. I don't like flying, he said. I hate taking off. I don't hate it, said Nadim. I love it. On the flight there was a surprise for Nadim. The steward asked him if he wanted to see the controls. Nadim was excited. He had always wanted to see the flight deck of an aeroplane. Oh, brilliant, he said. Yes, please. The steward took Nadim and his dad through to the aeroplane. These planes are huge, said Nadim. They hold about 400 people, said the steward. That's a lot of people in one plane, said Nadim. Nadim and his dad went on the flight deck. They met the captain. We're flying on autopilot, said the captain. The, pl the plane is flying by itself. Nadim looked at all the controls. I'd like to be a pilot, he said. It takes a long time to learn, said the captain. But what's to stop you? Don't let him take over the controls just yet, joked Nadim's dad. I am a nervous passenger. Oh, Dad, said Nadim. After Nadim got home, he went to play at Biff and Chip's house. Anina was already there. Nadim told everyone about his holiday. I went on the flight deck of the aeroplane, he said. I'd love to be a, pi a pilot, said Anina. Mum called Biff and Chip. They had to go downstairs to help wash up. We won't be long, said Chip. Anina picked up the magic key. Suddenly, 
it began to glow. It took Amina and Nadim on an adventure. The magic took Nadim, Nadim and Amina back in time. It took them to a place in America. Why has the magic key brought us here? asked Amina. They heard the sound of an engine. The sound was coming out of a big cloud of dust. A man was driving towards them in a strange looking car. What on earth is it? asked Nadim. It looks like a really old car. You can't stand there, called the man. You'll be in the way of the flying machine. A strange looking aeroplane was standing by a barn. Nadim and Anina had never seen anything like it. Another man was working on the aeroplane. The first man got out of the car and went over to him. Amina gasps. The two men looked alike. They must be twins, she said to Nadim. Hello, said the second man. I'm Henry and this is my twin brother Harold. How are you? Who are you? I'm Nadim. This is Amina, said Nadim. You're not spying on us, are you? asked Harold. Why would we do that? asked Anina. We're just about to try the, out the flying machine, said Henry. But it's a secret. No one has ever made a flying machine before, said Harold. We will be the first people to do it. It's amazing, said Nadim. We've not seen an aeroplane like this before. The twins laughed. A hairy plane, said Harold. That's a good name for it, a hairy plane. But it will never fly, said Anina. Of course it will, said Henry. Harold sat in the flying machine. I'm ready, he shouted. Henry started the engine. The, propellers, the propeller began to turn. It spun faster and faster, but the flying machine didn't move. I told you so, said Anina. It's the propeller, said Anina. It will never work, it's too flat. She picked up two pieces of wood. It needs to be like this, she said. It acts like a screw to pull the plane through the air. Well, we could try it, said Henry. The twins changed the shape of the propeller. But it still won't fly, said Nadim. You only have a flat wing. You have no way to make it lift up. How will it take off? Ha! said Harold. We've made a ramp. The faster we go, the higher will it will fly. Harold got into the aeroplane. Henry started the engine. We'll see if you're right, he yelled. The propeller spun round and round and the aeroplane began to move faster and faster it's working shouted henry it still won't fly said nadim the plane zoomed up the ramp at full speed it rose it in the air like a heavy bird yeehaw said told henry it's flying the plane flew straight up it went backwards in a loop then it dived towards the ground. Help! yelled Harold. The plane hit the ground with a heavy bump. Harold was thrown out. It was still going at full speed. It roared towards Nadim and Amina. Stop it! yelled Harold. Look out! shouted Henry. No one could stop the plane. It headed towards a big water tank. It's going to crash, gasped Nadim. The plane went under the water tank. The wing snapped off, but the plane went on. It hasn't stopped, said Henry. The plane didn't slow down. It roared on towards a farm. Harold and Henry jumped into the car and chased after it. One thing's for sure, said Nadim to Amina. Your propellers work well. Henry and Harold's mother and father lived on the farm. 
their mother had just done the washing she was hanging it out to dry their father was watering his prize melons and pumpkins henry and harold followed nadim and amina chased after them ah oh, heck said harold why won't it stop oh my said henry it's heading for the farm oh dear said amina i don't like the look of this the plane rolled on it ran through the washing it squashed the melons and pumpkins it hasn't stopped shouted harold now what are we going to do let's hope it runs out of gas soon said henry the plane headed towards the town a woman was painting her house she heard the sound of an engine whatever is that she wondered it sounds like a roaring bull the plane ran into the ladder and knocked it down the woman fell to the ground she still had the paintbrush in her hand the plane went on what the heck was that gasped the woman at last the plane stopped in the middle of t the town it had crashed into a statue people ran to see what all the noise was about henry and harold stopped the car they both jumped out this doesn't look good said harold nadim and anina ran to see where the plane had stopped nadim spoke to harold and henry you see he said the propellers worked now you need to make flaps and a rudder suddenly there was a noise it sounded like an engine it came from up in the sky everyone looked up an aeroplane was flying over the town it's a flying machine someone shouted another hairy plane joked anina the people waved and cheered the pilot of the plane waved back at them i know who that is called a man it will be right he and his brother are the first men to fly well i'll be darned said henry so we aren't the first men to fly after all said henry the wright brothers have be beaten us to it never mind said harold i have an idea for a boat that goes under water the magic key began to glow it was time for nadim and amina to go sorry we were such a long time said biff there was a lot of washing up to do never mind laughed anina the time just flew by and it wasn't just the time that flew joked nadim <laughs>